Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the stuff I should have done yesterday. Again, on our walk, Izzy decided to bring her ball. I guess this is our winter thing now. So today, I'm going to cut two of my pieces for the furring strips. They have to be cut a little bit shorter for the corners. Then I'm going to assemble the corners, two inside, two outside, and drill all of the rest of the furring strips. They have to, well, I have to mark them as well for the size screw each hole gets. Not sure how I'm going to do that, but shouldn't be too hard. Where did she go? I'm missing one dog. There she is. You need to listen better than that. Get your ball and go. So, on my way back, I need to stop at the machine shed and pick up some finishing nails to hold my corners together while I screw them. That sounds funny, but whatever. Uh, while I screw them together, so they're going to be glued, screwed, and the nails are just kind of like temporary clamps to hold them together while I throw the screws in. So I'll meet you back at the addition and we'll get to work. Izzy come. Okay, this is her little calm down period at the end of the walk. Okay. All right. Now I will see you back at the addition. I forgot to mention that it is 18 degrees out and 16 mile an hour winds. I don't know what they're gusting to but I'm pretty sure it's below, well below zero Fahrenheit with the wind chill. It is not a nice day. But surprisingly, the little bit of snow on the flat roof was melting in the sunlight earlier. As soon as the sunlight went off the roof, it froze solid again. Gotta love winter. All right, now I will meet you back in the uh, addition. I just grabbed the finish nails from inside the shed and she was waiting out here with an attack. <laughs> she kicked her ball and it hit me right in the foot. She, she got me dead square. Let's see if she rolls it again, but it was pretty damn funny. As soon as I walked out the door, she rolled it and it hit me in the feet. Ah, uh, not so good with her aim now. But I think this is our, our new winter schedule. She let, let, yesterday she left the ball somewhere around here and as soon as we started walking, she grabbed it and we were off to the races with the ball again. Okay, now I will meet you in the addition. If I can get her away from her game for a little while. Izzy, come on, we gotta go, honey. Izzy, can we go? One more time. Okay, honey, let's go.
Okay, back in the edition. Again, I am really pressed for time. I went and got this, oh, when was that? I believe it was yesterday, last night. I have this hose so that I can do this upside down. You, you're supposed to spray this like this. So in order to get to do upside down stuff, you need a hose and they give you a tiny little piece like that big. But this outlet is a bit bigger than I'd want for some of the tight areas. Oh, where is, I know there's one way over at the edge here. Yeah, right in there where it's actually too tight to get something in. I'm just going to tape that. Uh, it's like a vapor tape and it, it works with styrofoam, this stuff here, joint sealer. So what I want to do is get a small brass tube that will fit into the end of this Oh, and cut it yay long it'll give you a it'll give me a nice little handle to hold on to but the end I'll just tap with a hammer a little bit and flatten it so that it fits into the tight cracks then I can just pump the great stuff into the crack if it's if the tube is not in the crack then it's just going to spread out on the outside and that's not doing anybody any good so with the brass, I'll be able to push it up in there with the flattened brass. And they might even have ovals. We'll see what they have. But I need to go to a decent hardware store. And I couldn't do that when I went to pick this up. So I got to go again. So when I pick up Natalie in an hour and a half, I have to run to town and get that real quick. So what I got to do two of these these two pieces right here are the inside corner watch out his they're the part of the inside corner that goes up against the house which need to be shorter and i didn't want to drag the miter saw out across the street by the shed drag it out into the ice and wind and snow so i'm going to go old school and cut it with a handsaw it's not gonna not gonna make any difference this stuff is all behind the siding so a little bit of semi ragged edge is not gonna hurt anything so I'm gonna cut these two to their new length which is I measured it this morning 116 and I'll start gluing those two together We'll see how, how far I can get. I went and picked up. This is what I was getting at the shed. I wanted one and a half, but one and a quarter was what I found the quickest. So that's what I'm going to use. And again, once these are, these are just going to be teed together, or not teed, but L'd. We have one board that's three quarters of an inch wider than the other so when they're put together it'll this is what the corner will look like when it's put together so I'll be nailing up from that other side well it'll actually be turned around so I'll be nailing down into it pin it together nice and tight and then go along it and throw all the screws in and it's going to be glued so With all of that, let me dig those two out and start cutting.
cut, I picked out the board I want to match it to. This has a nasty bend this way, and this one has a slight bend going this way. So I'm going to put those two together, and it, it should come out pretty damn straight. So what I got to do is match it at one end. It's going to be flush at this end, just like that. And I'm going to get it lined up just like that, and put a nail right there, work my way down, put another nail, etc., etc. But before that, I'm going to pre drill all of the screw holes. This is going to be first, I'm going to put glue on it, then put it together and, and shoot nails in it along the, the length of it to. Uh, hold it in place and then I'll throw the screws in it. I'll probably have to throw screws in it here and there for a better hold on it as I'm going. You can see how I got this stood up. It's just got uh, two wood clamps, one on either end. That, it holds stuff up really nice if it's hanging over a bench like this. So I got to get these holes drilled then I'll get it put together. Okay, a lot of problems with this one. Little problems, but we'll work it out. For one thing, this you can see these nails right here. This thing's misfiring. I don't know if it's because of these uh, Menards brand nails or if there's something in the gun. I mean, this is a really nice gun from back in the day. I don't know. The guns these days may be better. Highly doubt it, though. Okay, so that means either I got to run across the street and get a brad nailer or just do it like I did with this one and just screw it. They do not come out as good if you just if you just screw it. Uh, you can see it's not 100% flush. That's because the screw wants to push it one way or the other. If you have a nail in there, it holds it from shifting and then the screw pulls it down tight. So uh, just for the hell of it, I think I'll run across and get the, get the brad nailer for the next one and then work on that or work on that gun at a different time. Now with this squeeze out glue, I'll scrape that up, let it dry for, I don't know, a couple hours until it's uh, not dry, but not wet like this. And then I'll take a chisel and take that off. But it's best to leave it alone right now. So I still have to drill the next one. And the next one I have to make sure is done correctly. These are handed. That short side is going to go up against the house. So this is for the back there. I got to make sure I make the next one correctly. Otherwise I'll have two lefts instead of a left and a right. Okay, let me get that Brad gun 
and drill some holes and get going. assemblies and toss this outside don't want oily rags in the house I have all four assemblies done the inside ones are screwed six inches on center the outside ones are screwed 12 inches on center that second outside one this one both boards were pretty far off they were pretty squirrely but you can see how when you screw them together to make an L they make each other pretty damn straight so this will go on real nice the screw pattern on these is complicated it's got to be in the exact spot as far as width goes and from height the first like 24 inches is up in the parapet area it's got to hit somewhere where it's going to hold good up there and then as you go down further it'll get into studs those are corners so you hit a flat stud here and a stud on edge back in here so from one side they're in one place and the other side they're in another place and they're different lengths and they're different lengths from top to bottom so i'll get all that laid out tomorrow if you want to see that make sure you subscribe click on the update icon and if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section below and if you like and or share the video it helps us out greatly thanks for watching and have a great day